Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about a French press. This is a Secura French press, it's stainless steel. I got this for Christmas for my son. Um, and this is really kind of a, a cool, it's a, it's a 34 ounce coffee press. I've tried this before um, with failure. So my kids all bought me a coffee press from Starbucks. And when they did it, I didn't realize that the inside of it was actually glass glass. And so, and it wasn't secure to the handle. So when I poured coffee grinds out one time, it fell out and broke on the ground. So, um, so that wasn't cool. So this one is stainless steel. It's much heavier, much heavier duty. And uh, in this one, I'm, I'm guessing um, I got green because it's the color of the Green Bay Packers. And so, uh, you know, anyways, I got a nice green coffee press. So it is stainless steel, it's 34 ounces. Um, it's really kind of a nice, nice thing. Everything in it is really stainless steel. Um, and so you can see even the, the screening of it is stainless steel. So that's all really kind of nice. And you can see I've used it a bunch, right? And it's, well, cause I got coffee grounds that didn't rinse out real well. Um, but I've used it a bunch. It's really a nice um, coffee press. The reason I like this is two reasons. One is I'm trying to limit a little bit how much coffee I drink. Um, and with the Keurig pod things, I can just pop one in, I drink it, pop another one in, drink it. And, uh, and so I kind of drink more coffee than I want to. And it's expensive getting those pods. They range anywhere from six bucks for 12 of them to nine bucks for 12 of them if you're getting the better coffee. So what I like about this is I can get my own coffee. I can grind it, which, um, which I do. And uh, then I can put in, you know, basically to do 34 ounces in here, I put in two tablespoons. Um, of coffee, then I wait four minutes without pressing it, but I boil some hot water and I leave it up and then I wait four minutes. After it's nice and stirred in there, um, I just press down on it and this sits at my desk. So it allows me to have coffee at my desk where I don't have to have a full mug at a time. I can pour a little bit in, I have a conversation, have a meeting, and then I can pour a little bit more in. And the 34 ounces stays hot because it's in a stainless steel container and it has a nice little arrow on the top. So this is where you're pouring from. And when you're not, there's no lip to pour from. So it keeps it hotter because it actually has a lid on it. Now the lid itself does not seal down. Like this doesn't have any rubber pieces on it, which is nice because you never have to worry about getting that grimy rubber piece out of there to get it clean. There's nothing in here to get grimy at all. The other thing that's nice is it comes with extra screens. So that screen at the bottom, you know with coffee, it's gonna get stained and whatever. This whole bottom piece just kind of screws off. You can actually replace the screen on the bottom when you need to, and then screw this piece back on nice and tight, and you're ready to go again. So this particular one is not um, not very cheap, it, uh, it, because it is stainless steel on the inside. You can buy a full stainless steel one that looks like mirrored on the outside. Um, I particularly like this look. It's really kind of a cool look. Um, it's like a crackle uh, paint job to it. Um, but you can buy this in stainless steel. You can buy it in different sizes too. This is a 34 ounce one. You can buy a 50 ounce one if you're a super aggressive coffee person or a couple of you are drinking it out of an office, something like that. But um, this has got a double wall insulated one, so that's what keeps things really nice and hot to it. And the other thing I forgot to mention is no matter how hot, if you boil water, you're supposed to not have like boiling water here, but if you make it in a tea kettle, pour it in here, this handle stays cold. There's no heat to it at all. So it's really kind of nice. You have no real threat of burning yourself um, because you have a stainless steel thing. This is a cool touch handle to it. Um, so it's really kind of a nice feature. It also, one thing that's really kind of cool about this is it actually saves me money. Buying bags of coffee is pretty cheap. And for me, you know, a bag will last me a few weeks. Um, and for seven bucks for something that lasts me a few weeks, it's a lot, it's probably half the cost of what I would pay if I was drinking pods of coffee out of the Keurig. So um, I think it's a great investment. Uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you're a coffee drinker and you like pressed coffee, um, this is a fantastic option for you. The ones at Starbucks will cost you about 20 bucks. This will cost you about 10 bucks more, but I will say, uh, it, the durability of this is so much better. So give this a check out when you get a chance. I got it on Amazon. Um, it does come with a two year warranty, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't know what could possibly go wrong with it unless you did something super aggressive. It's all steel, but anyways, um, check it out and, uh, and then. All I really have to make sure I do with mine is make sure I clean out the coffee after every one um, and then it stays pretty clean. Um, so, you know, make sure you get the grinds out of it and stuff like that. Just rinsing it out after you're using it. 
um, will do it. And then, like I said, um, the only other thing that I should mention is it does come with extra screens to it. Um, so just one extra screen that I have in the cabinet above behind me. And uh, if you look and you want to get it a bunch of different colors, this one, the Secura one, comes in all these colors. It comes in a really cool pink too if you're that, if you want something really aggressively bright on your desk. That's something my wife would get. Um, but otherwise, it comes in these colors. And it also comes in a really nice stainless steel. I don't think that's the crackled one, but uh, it comes in a really shiny stainless steel as well. So that's it. Subscribe. Let me know if you're using a coffee press, what you're using for yours. Um, and uh, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.